What's going on, champ? Dreams come true, that's about it, man. How you feel? Two fights, two KOs. Tell me a little about, about tonight. Uh, I feel pretty good. Uh, glad I don't have to fight a third time, man. It really takes a lot out of you in between fights. Uh, I give it to Big House, man. Uh, I couldn't have done it without Jared, my corner man, and uh, Chef Ross, dude, my other corner man. I definitely couldn't have done it without support, man. It looks like you were uh, working your Muay Thai tonight. Tell me, those knees looks like to be the difference in that fight. Tell me about that. Um, well, uh, just been working on doing the knees, you know. I mean, it's a necessity in MMA, really. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't have better block. I mean, he, he did do a good job blocking a few of them. I threw quite a bit. Uh, me and Jared, we went over that before the fight. Especially for this fight, that was something I was definitely trying to use in this fight particularly. Because I didn't really didn't know if I could stand there and bang with the guy or not. Uh, and it worked out, you know, just exactly the way with textbook. Definitely, bro. A couple scary points for you. You had that nice suplex on you. Got you in mount a couple times. Were you ever in danger or were you calm the whole time? Um, I mean, I, like one thing we've, uh, we've been working on is just stay focused, stay calm. Don't don't blow your nut, your nut you know what I mean? Uh, I was pretty calm. His punches really didn't hurt. Uh, maybe just the adrenaline or whatever. Uh, I, I was a little worried there when he had me in the mouth at the end there uh, after that suplex just because I, I didn't know what to expect coming out of it. Maybe catch a, catch a punch. That one punch could have been it. Uh, but I just uh, bridged, held in tight. I guess I did what I had to do. It was just the way it went. It's obviously you trained hard for this fight. What do you have to say to the other kids out there that are training at Big House and other gyms? What advice would you give them to get to the position you're at tonight? When you, when you know you want something, man, you can't sit and wait for it to come to you because it'll never come. you got to go get that shit. That bottom line. Congratulations, Don't take what Jack. you want, man. Thank you.